A dead humpback whale was found on the beach at Assateague Island National Seashore on Monday. This is the first one to wash ashore in the mid-Atlantic, but since the middle of December, seven dead whales have washed up along the New York, New Jersey coastline. I'm joined now by Hugh Hawthorne, superintendent of Assateague Island National Seashore. And Hugh, thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank you for inviting me. Let's get started, Hugh. What exactly is going on here? Well, we... Yesterday, early yesterday morning, visitors reported a uh, dead humpback whale on our beach uh, south of our developed zone. So we went out, uh, secured the area, and then we called uh, the Maryland uh, Stranding Team. Uh, that's a Department of Natural Resources group that works with Baltimore Aquarium and the Smithsonian, and they deal with stranded uh, or dead uh, marine mammals and turtles in the state of Maryland. So they came out, we, we secured the area, kept visitors away, and they came out to do a necropsy to try to determine cause of death on the whale. The images that we're seeing are pretty incredible. What do you think is causing these whales to wash ashore? I know there's some reports and suspicions that there could be a wind farms or something of the sort. Well, we're not going to speculate as a National Park Service on why. Uh, we're, we'll attempt to determine, along with the state, uh, why this particular whale died. Uh, but anything about the larger picture of, uh, of what may be happening to whales, that's more in the area of NOAA, the National Ocean Oceanography and Atmospheric Agency. They're the ones that are investigating this. Uh, we're just concerned with this particular whale or any other ones that would end up on our beach. So Hugh, how do you handle something like this when it happens? What happens next? You see the whale, the reports come in, then what? Okay, first off, we secure the area to keep visitors away from it because visitors are very curious. This thing weighs many tons, and uh, when it first uh, uh, was on the beach, it was in the surf, so it moves around a lot more than people think it will, and it would be very easy for this dead whale to crush somebody. So the first thing is to secure the area. We closed that area of the beach uh, to keep people away. Then we call uh, the stranding team. I say the stranding team comes out, uh, and in the case of whales, they like to do a necropsy to try to determine uh, cause of death. After they're done, and I believe they finish today, uh, we'll move the whale, we'll move it off the beach uh, into the area of the sand dunes behind the beach uh, and let it dry out for a while. And after it's, after it's dried out and desiccated, we'll bury it on the island. So you told us what you all do. What should visitors or spectators do if they spot a whale or something? I think so. The first thing is stay away from it. Like I said, I've been very close to these things, and they move a lot more than you think they would. Uh, but uh, second off, uh, if, you, if they can, call a park ranger. Uh, if they can't get a hold of a park ranger, uh, call the, uh, the Maryland uh, Department of Natural Resources, or if they're down in Virginia, the Virginia Department of Natural Resources and tell them what happened. Uh, as a last resort, call 911 because 911 will call us uh, and, and say, uh, and then I say, stay away from it and uh, do your best to keep other people away from it until one of our rangers arrives on the scene. When does a whale washing ashore trigger a concern like what we're seeing here? When, when is there a wider concern about what's transpiring? Well, our concern is the safety of our of visitors. Uh, so the, the, the first thing, it, 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 it triggers, first off, concerns of people getting too close to it, like I said, but there's also, it's a mammal, and people can uh, get diseases uh, uh, from, from dead mammals. So that's a bit of a concern. That's, it's, that's a minor concern. It's not very likely, but we'll, uh, it's another reason to keep people away from it. Uh, we periodically get dead whales on the beach. We had one about two years ago. Uh, so it's not something that's unheard of here, uh, but uh, uh, it's not something we enjoy. All right, Hugh Hawthorne, superintendent of Assateague Island National Seashore. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, and thanks for the insight. All right, thank you for the opportunity.